And Carolyn, Stephen, this search has been progressing so quickly. I mean, at one point, there were squad cars out here from both Southfield Police and Detroit Police. We're on the service drive on the lodge near Seven Mile between Cambridge and Vassar. We just got some information that there were shots fired in that parking lot, and it was near Target, but that no one was hit. And this may not have been a random act. But if you look behind me at this home, police spent a lot of time with dogs um, and possibly even the suspect's T-shirt in that backyard there of that home. But so far, as we know right now, no suspect, but a lot of worried neighbors. The roar of the Michigan State Police helicopter brought Michael Bridges out of his home. And when he picked up his pace in the cold, police spotted him. They just put the light on me because I was running home. I had just got out the shower and I seen the helicopters. My wife said to come see what was going on. Police say it all started in this part of the Northland parking lot where shots were fired and someone was hit. I came out here and I was up there by the scene. They got the car stopped, blocked off in there. And they said he ran in between there somewhere and they were looking for him. Police found a shirt believed to be that of the suspects, but are in backyards and have roads blocked off, still trying to find him. Does it worry you? Uh, it always worries me. We're in a good neighborhood, but, uh, you know, to see this happening, you always have to worry about that. And again, we were told those shots rang out, and it may have been personal that these two people, the victim and the shooter, knew each other. Maybe something happened in that parking lot. Maybe it was outside of that parking lot. We're still working on that part of the story. But it's our understanding that the victim is with Southfield Police right now. Live here in Detroit, I'm Glenda Lewis. Back to you. Hello.